closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Out of the gun, Watson. And an alley to run. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards in a first. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. The Texans with the first opportunity now from the red zone. First and 10 at the 19. From the red zone now, Watson. They shakes him off. But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Muhammad Wilkerson. In there to sack him for a loss of six. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. If you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That is first incompletion after a 4-for-4 four four start. Yeah, but they shouldn't back off from what they're doing. I like the play calling right out of the gate. I like the tone that they're setting. Keep going. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Tono Passigno able to drop him for a loss of two, and that'll bring up fourth down. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? And now here comes Kansas City. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Now Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. And it's complete. It's Damian Williams. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it with West. And past the 30, down to about the 27. 
Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. They stay on the ground. This time it's Camaro. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. And he's going to drop this off to Williams. Complete. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of it. he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Sammy Watkins, his first touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs are in for six. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. This one taken just inside the 10. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. Touchdown, Houston. Kiki QT, his first touchdown on the year. And the Texans are in for six. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch. And you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together. But that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that was Rush coming, and he's taken down. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. On second down, Camara. He'll wind up getting 11 on that one. And that'll bring up a third down. It seemed like the situation was second and a mile to go for a first down, which screams what? Throw the football. You got to pass in order to try and pick up that kind of yardage. But in this case, they ran a tendency breaker because the tendency is for defenses to be out there and be set up for a pass. So you break tendency and actually run the football. That changes everything because if you're able to find a crease, you often have bigger guys working against smaller guys downfield. They picked up excellent yardage there to bring up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, here's Trubisky. And his throw is incomplete. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, and he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the throwing football. Now Trubisky to throw. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Watkins, the intended receiver. 
And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. If you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And the stop will come inside the... What we're seeing from the defense here is a group of guys bearing down, trying to help out their quarterback after he threw an interception. Good stops on the first two downs. It brings up a key third down. They'll try and run for it with Miller. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Lamar Miller, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Texans will add on to their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. They're going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Trubisky now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And it's second down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. And now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. And now out comes Houston. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out. That's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Texans are able to show off their quick strike ability. 
As a former DB, you might not like to see them, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And this offense led by Mitchell Trubisky going to make their way back out there. A lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball. Is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well? It is, but there's no way that the best ones let their teammates know that. They actually take it upon themselves and say, okay, I have to do even more or I need to play better. Maybe even say, I put my defense in a bad spot. That's what true leadership shows you. Yeah, well, he doesn't need to change much personally. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Encroachment, defense. So step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that. Now it's Trubisky. And his throw here is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. I put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. Now it's Trubisky. Man open left side. It's Williams. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. On first down, Trubisky over the middle. He's got Watkins. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Again, it's Trubisky. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He was looking for Watkins that time. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. After the interception, hitting timeouts, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. On the move to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jonathan Allen coming up the middle, gets him there for a loss of about nine. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Sacks a growing come theme back, in this back. first half. This is second and long. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. And the pressure gets to him again. Preston Smith, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Third and long, it's Watson. He's letting this one go for... He's got him in, complete. That goes for a gain of 31. So that changes things. Here's first and 10 all the way up at the 45. Black 22. The final shot before the break. Watson. Flush to his right. On the crossing route. Complete. That's four. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. So we've come upon halftime here in Houston, and it's the home team, the Texans, leading this one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. 
And let's shift our attention to Will Fuller. Creeping up on 1,000, could get there on this drive. So a challenge for him to do that, but also defensively, maybe a challenge for them to not allow that. And that means probably kicking even more coverages to his side. And what that really means is wherever he lines up, you will have a cornerback over in his area. Now instead of blitzing your linebacker. And that's caught inside the 35. A huge play there for Houston. 43 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Lamar Miller, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Texans will extend their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, second half, no matter what, with well, his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, the big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Again, it's Kamara. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Trubisky now to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. We're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. Now a look at Will Fuller as he and the rest of the offense gears up to get ready to go again. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. From the 50, it's Watson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. The Texans on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. To throw is Watson. It's complete to Fuller. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and he picked up a first down for him, too. A first down carry now for Miller. 
And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They'll run it again with Miller. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Watson just beating the play clock. Fuller brings it in over the middle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag. Completed it very well. Watson now nearing the 300-yard mark with still a corner to play. It's first and 10. Watson going to give this one to Miller. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Black, no, 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 it. They'll try to punch it in with Miller. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Lamar Miller taking it in from a yard out. And the Texans will add on to their lead. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that <laughs> as he tries to negotiate a new contract <laughs> off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Williams now on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. And that's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Holding offense. Hurry, hurry. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. Pretty nice move, but not a ton of space there. They stop him shy of the 25. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll be a second and long. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It'll be a gain of six, and that's going to make it third down and 10. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A gain of four on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. 
Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And we focus on Lamar Miller as he heads back out there and gets set to go again on offense. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second <laughs> home because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. Watson on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Fuller. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now a handoff to Miller. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Watson, it's hauled in by Ellington. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Lamar Miller. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Again, it's Miller. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight.